Hi everybody and welcome to this new video in the Integrator 2012 series. Today I will show um, the integration of the feature that processes the limitations that apply to Hi-Res on the Commodore 64. In particular we will see how colors get reused and reduced when uh, we move objects around. In fact, the processing applies both to the preview and to the editor, to the panel editor itself. So if we pick up as example the panel that um, is the base graphics for this location, make it a little bit bigger this time, uh, as we can see all around um, these objects, these lines, there are what appear to be stray pixels. These white pixels at the edges. So if I move this object around here onto this light gray area, which is the background, which means absence of um, uh, active pixels, that those stray pixels are not there anymore because there's no need to reduce colors and as you can see the light is circular as well if I stick it up here some white bits are missing here because the colors from the background take precedence so these ones get reduced and at the same time these pixels in the background that are at the edges get overridden with colors from the object because you know there is um, a least used most used kind of logic same applies for this one yeah and about this one those three pixels at this corner if i move this onto here you will not see any three pixels as well as at this one can you see these three pixels white pixels at the edge here if I move this one away, those stray pixels disappear. That's how the Commodore 64 does these things. Uh, again, there is a limitation on the number of colors you can have in each 8x8 eight eight rectangle on the screen. Well, square on the screen, really. And um, yeah, it's, it's all in use now. This has been a very, very long-standing um, modification and um, I'm quite happy that um, it finally made its way in Integrator 2012 and um, even on the editor itself. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!